$5 parking. See you there. New record-breaking high temperatures for today. After patchy morning fog, we'll have partial sunshine with a high today 84 to 87. Tonight, mild with increasing cloudiness, low 66 to 68. Wednesday, mostly cloudy and very warm. The temperature approaching the record of 88 set in 1982 with a high 85 to 87. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Kevin Snyder. Listening to AM Ocala Live on WOCA, and now it's time for In the Garden with Carol Ann. Good morning, Carol Good morning. How are you doing this I'm morning? I'm doing pretty good. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Bright and sunshiny. And yeah, it's yeah, the to fog's come up, burning man. off. Yeah. And it was so. interesting as I was as I was coming in today. Oh, yeah. It was getting that fog. Oh, okay. It was, it was just it was coming in. Yeah. Oh, and everything on my windows, no matter what defrost oh, I used. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it just sort of go. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just going to be foggy. Yep. Yeah, just drive with caution. You just feel how wet mm-hmm. it is in the air. Have it, yeah. You walk in, you get, ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, got, I got a few flights this afternoon, and, and these are the days that. Uh, with it being so humid, oh. and then in the 80s, mid 80s, uh-huh. it's oh, just yeah. kind of like. Uh, but see, I don't mind it because I know by Thursday, Friday, will be you know the rain will rain itself <laughs> out. It's, it's, it's nice gonna weekend, get yeah, have nice weekend. Yeah. And and back to the seasonal, and it's like and, and everybody who listens to this knows how I I love this i yeah, yeah i'll take 80 85 even up to 90 degrees without a problem i mean i don't i avoid going out in the hot sun <laughs> right. you know when it's 95 degrees but i can tolerate the temperature if i'm in a shaded location but um you know friday the day i was telling you the day yeah. i'm off what is it it's gonna rain and be 71 degrees there, no no yard work i'm gonna hide in the house mm-hmm. and yeah you know, it's like come on mother nature come on give me, give see, me a break the, the low for friday it's gonna be chilly again yeah. it's gonna be down in the 40s yeah it's gonna be yeah 40 yeah. 40 overnight and you know 70 for a high on friday and i go oh, back yeah. to work on saturday morning and it'll, it'll be, be 74 degrees <laughs> and and so long as it's not windy i mean that's a nice that's a pleasant temperature so you know Guess we got we got one coming in we got a caller good All morning right. you're on the air with carolyn in the garden with carolyn hi good morning guys good morning. good morning i i have to report to you that last thursday 11 o'clock we had when that front went through we mm-hmm. had plenty of lightning and thunder yes we do so now we now we, don't, we, we we need two more and then that's it huh that should be it so hopefully <laughs> friday we'll get a little thunder out of this weather this rain that comes in and you know that's my if you don't know adam that's my prognostication oh, i dig it okay I yeah it's it. the three thunderstorms and then we've got spring coming in and and this year it's kind of a little bit late on that first one um yeah, it was I, a few years ago i think i had a, a memory from facebook came up and we were on like the fourth one yeah. by, by now and it's like yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> yep yeah uh, so yes let's yes so okay. let's let's hope for another one yeah this week we, next we week can't, we can't we blame can. we can't blame farmers market for for uh, that uh, three uh, thunderstorm deal then huh no no it's all it's all me on that weekend and you can't blame the groundhog either though the groundhog did say see i don't trust the groundhog because hmm. he's way up in pennsylvania that's right yeah and we're right. in florida a whole other planet <laughs> down yeah. here um just you know, the so uh, yeah. magnetic variation from where he's at to magnetic said, north yeah, as compared to us right. holy cow it's, it's yeah <laughs> it's it's a whole different pl- it's a whole different place whole different kind of thing but uh i mean if you look at the weather map i mean they're having this warm yeah. trend too all up and down the east coast and that's, that's so. the worst by the oh, way that's that, northeast yeah. ohio because they had snow and everything when everything came right. through last week yeah and, and then all of a sudden it warms up to the mid just, 50s right, and it's and it humid turns to slush and, and it everything's turns to nasty, muddy yeah. uh, and then it starts to come right on the back mm-hmm. end as it gets colder with this then freezing rain freeze and, yep uh, yep so good lucky for just them. get yeah. cold <laughs> snow and be cold <laughs> we, we have we have an average date for the last frost is there one for the first yeah the uh 15th of uh november 
15th yeah, of November is, of is November. 15th of November is our first expected frost date, um, and then the 15th of March is our last expected frost date. Yep. So it just gives you that. And I mean, over the last couple of years, I think they've tried to, they've thought about moving that only because our winters have been mild. Mm -hmm. We haven't had it. But you know, to me, it's it's keep it yeah. where it is. Yeah. I've I've seen frosts. You know, as early as Halloween. I know. Where, so that's two full where weeks you've even early. Had a, you even had a late, Easter. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. a late tropical storm or hurricane that comes through in like early November. Right. And then that comes out yeah. a few weeks later. It gets cold right, for right. some have reason. One like blow, it just happened one blow that. Through. Um, yeah, and then we, we may have a very mild February. And next thing you know, that second week in March, you've got a front comes through. <laughs> and, you know, we're going, ooh, I put my tomatoes out. You know, <laughs> and... and but you know, even in well, uh, I, I, even into Easter, some well, some years. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm as you know, I'm from Milwaukee, and uh, mm -hmm. they had six inches of snow Halloween this last year, so that uh, was unusual. Right, oh, wow. right, and and I I want to say it wasn't this past winter; it might have been the winter before. My cousin lives up in Erie, okay, yeah, and and they had just shy of a record they had three quarters of i think three quarters of an inch or a half inch shy of 300 inches of snow wow that winter oh my wow. god That's a lot. and yeah. i mean this winter i don't believe they've had near no that kind no. of snow so and, i mean and, that's and, they, and that, that area, those areas up in the northeast and things like that uh mid atlantic and, and that kind of count on that snow the, for yeah. their for the water yeah for the year for the uh yeah. for the water tables, yeah. the water and, tables and things like that and that high mountain snows and i don't know because we don't get that weather report and i don't really look that hard at weather i pay attention to what's happening here mostly yeah. um you know whether or not the mountain regions are getting enough in order to re you know uh resupply, yeah, that's to some, resupply of some of the tributaries yeah uh, and that area just, gets just, all that just, lake just, effects uh, yeah. uh, just north of georgia up in that area they're getting a ton of rain in the last week or so right mm -hmm. right yeah yeah and, i heard and, some and, of that too yeah. Yeah, that's probably good because they always, you know, all the water supply for a city of Atlanta, which is very large, mm -hmm. comes from this lake that's just north of Atlanta. And right. in the last few years, they've been worried about the water level. But uh, as the weather has been going so far uh, this this uh, winter, uh, they, I don't know, the water level has got to be up in that lake. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure if they've been getting plenty. And that's, I believe that's the same lake that we actually take water from. Is that right? And actually, I think we have, I think, I'm not sure, that might be, a, it might be a different lake, but I know we actually have the rights, Florida has the rights to the water out of uh, Georgia out of one lake. Exactly. Yeah. Right. yeah there was been well, a okay, so uh, maybe we'll have a little more thunder coming up here towards the week. Could, I guess we're going to have a nice warm rest of the week here in the 80s. Yeah, we're it's going to be, yeah. And, uh, get a little rain towards the weekend we'll have the the second one and there'll be one more to go that, that's <laughs> it that's what, and then and then we got spring coming that's in. right third time's a charm and then we, we got, got spring, spring coming that's oh, oh yeah okay nice talking to you guys thank All you right. thanks, thanks for, thanks for call, calling man. you yeah looking just i just brought up the 10 day uh, it looks like let's see friday actually this one's got friday at, at a high of 66 thank you mm -hmm. um then we have the nice weekend the 74 76 another warm week the following friday even though it's not looking like it's got rain it's like another front that's coming in yeah um and, but back down to a little more seasonable you know in the 70s kind of temperatures so i mean that's still i mean seasonable seasonal for us this time of year is in that low to mid 70s so i mean when we hit 80 it's you know we're not we're not accustomed to that your landscape's not accustomed to that i'm still yeah, encouraging which... people not to break out the fertilizer thing why start things too early you know let it yeah, we're not true. getting you know i mean it's we're, we've, we've been kind of dry this winter actually we we, we've been a bit dry so and we all know you can turn the sprinkler system on but it doesn't green your lawn up mm -mm. because the grass is still not truly actively growing kind of thing but um so holding off on the fertilizer and that hmm, thing just popped up in my thing <laughs> um so you know I, I just holding off on those fertilizers uh you know at this time of year at least for another uh, like another month it's it's not that long period of time but that you know people say the same thing it's not that far away but it's still you know just just give it a break go ahead and take care of your weeds okay because i'm not a fan of the weed and feeds neither are any of the sod companies 
Right. Sod companies don't use weed and feed you know, products on their sod that they're selling you. They go through and they treat for weeds when it's the optimum time to treat for weeds, which would be now, before they're coming up, get rid of those winter weeds, get those all knocked down. Um, you know, take care of that. If you had a crabgrass problem, your best time to have begun to treat for that was the 1st of February. Okay. And then again, the 15th of March. That's like your, there's probably a couple other products. Halts is one that comes to mind to me. Um, I think it changed its name or it, they incorporated the Halts product into another product. So you may have to look a little bit for it. I think the bag's still blue and white, but um, I forget the name of the product. But I know there's a couple of other ones like a Crab X or things like that. Just, just look in your local stores if you had a crabgrass problem. Otherwise, just your regular weed control, just being uh, cautious when, um, if you have St. Augustine, which we do have a lot of St. Augustine here in the Ocala area, mostly in the subdivisions where they required it to be put down. You, if, you ha if you're not sure and you're in a subdivision and you have irrigation, good chance you have St. Augustine. If your home is newer, you may have zoysia. But, um, you know, if it has no irrigation, you probably have a Bahalon or something yeah. other than those two. Um, when looking for weed control for that St. Augustine, normally you're looking for products with a purple label. They kind of made it um, an industry-wide standard so that you wouldn't kill your lawn by buying the wrong one. Good. But... There's some new products on the market that when you read the label, it's good for St. Augustine, but not the Floritam variety. 99% mm -hmm. of the St. Augustine that's in Central Florida is Floritam. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have a receipt that you say you bought a bitter blue lawn or you bought a different, yeah. you know, a different type of St. Augustine, you probably have Floritam, yeah. and you can't use that product on it. Interesting. So yeah, so read the label before you before you take it home. Just look for some of that smaller print, or ask somebody to give you a hand to find that smaller print, and and don't be ashamed to carry a hand lens with you. That's small print. They don't give you a large print page on those things. It's like, no. you know, you get you get English, you get Spanish, no large print. I want one more page, just large print. Uh, at least I had to mix the stuff. Now, the important things. But, um, you know, with that, you know, and if you happen to have, and I know of people who have a mixed, not necessarily in the same area, but a mixed lawn. Say they have St. Augustine in the front because they need that pretty appeal right. to, the, to the front. And their back is Bahia. Don't get your products mixed up. You don't want to kill off your Bahia <clears throat> and yeah. have to start over kind of thing. So do be careful that, you know, what you're using on the one that you've got it labeled, that you know which area you're doing. Um, you know, if you're hiring somebody to do it, make sure that they're paying attention to either your instruction or they know what they're actually know what they're doing yeah uh you know nothing nothing worse than that kind of you know, yeah killing off the lawn and killing off the lawn yeah. thinking you were doing something right doing the whole time. Yeah, and and actually i've had people and i've had to stop them because i i work i, I don't know if you know i i work at lowe's mm -hmm. i work at the one down in uh the villages yep. uh, down in lady lake the north end and so we have mostly St. Augustine, but then again, we have areas, we have Summerfield, Bellevue, those kind of areas that come and shop our, our location, obviously, as well. And so you have Bahia lawns. Oh, yeah. So we still have quite a bit of product that's for Bahia, where I've seen people picking up and carrying, and I'm looking, and I hate to say it, you know, you kind of stereotype people, I see what they're wearing, and I'm going, hey, do you happen to live in the villages? <laughs> you know, they might be wearing what I would say golf attire. Sure. Or, or tennis attire, you've come from the tennis courts to golf, yeah, and you're going to stop and pick up fertilizer, and it's like, um, hey, you know, what, yeah. what kind of grass you have? And we talk for a moment or two, and it's like, hey, come back with it. Come, come yeah. back here. We're going to put that back, and we're going to get you the stuff that won't kill your lawn. Yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, see, they wouldn't know any better, too, no, especially no. when, like you said, you think you're doing the right and thing. Sometimes, and sometimes you're looking at a, and people look at a price. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, this, one, this, yeah. One's only, this one's only $22. And that one there is 45. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but that's the one labeled for your lawn. 
Yeah. And this one will damage your lawn. Yeah. So, you know, read and follow the instructions on them at any, yeah, you know, any time. That's, that's my Ooh. mantra. Read and follow label instructions. Yeah. The, the label is the law. Um, even as si simple as, you know, we, we don't put mothballs outside. They're not, they're, they're toxic. <laughs> you know, they, they're not effective outdoors. No. Where they're effective is in closets that are going to be closed up, right. sealed locations, um, that kind of stuff. <laughs> and they kill moths. That's what they kill. They don't kill cockroaches. No. They they kill moths. They don't yeah. kill silverfish. Right. You know, and you know, I don't know. We don't we don't really have a whole lot of wool clothing uh, here. You know, in our location, I know that moths are usually attracted to that yeah, as to a food wool. source. I guess they might go after cotton, but you know, they're not. I don't believe they eat polyester. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, or or rayon or nylon or, right. or things like that. So which I mean, is, which is why Dad's suit in the closet from 1977 still looks still good. Still hanging right? there. It's still hanging there. Still got the same creases pressed in there. Awesome. <laughs> well, we're, we're gonna take a quick little break right. and then we'll come back. We'll be talking more in the garden with Carol Ann. We'll be back after this. You're listening to W O C A, Ocala. Scott Plumbing Truck, you know that experienced certified technicians are on the job. Mike Scott Plumbing has the equipment and expertise to handle any size septic job, residential and commercial. From pumping septic tanks to installing new tanks and drain fields. When you want the job done right the first time, then the first call you need to make is to Mike Scott Plumbing. Mike Scott Plumbing is locally owned and operated since 1987, so you get the quality you expect at the price you deserve. If water runs through it, we do it. Mike Scott Plumbing. I'm Scotty, owner of 12 Rounds Boxing, with a personal invite for you to come check out my gym in Ocala, Florida, open seven days a week from 10A to 10P. Come check us out. New record-breaking high temperatures for today after patchy morning fog. We'll have partial sunshine with a high today 84 to 87. Tonight, mild with increasing cloudiness, low 66 to 68. Wednesday, mostly cloudy and very warm. The temperature approaching the record of 88 set in 1982 with a high 85 to 87. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Kevin Snyder. Who's ready for Valentine's Day? Well, for sure, Bob Wines Camellia Gardens is ready for Valentine's Day with a whole slew of colorful specials that'll knock your eyes out. Examples, a great selection of 5-inch bromeliads, regularly $19.99, just $14.99. Outstanding blooming gardenias that were priced at $14.99, now you get two for $12. More colorful your Valentine. Who doesn't like African violence? Bob Wines has a huge selection, and they're just $3.99. Also, Rex Begonias, just $12.99. And do not miss those gorgeous boogers via on a trellis, huge array of colors, and they're marked down to just $36.99. There's a Valentine truckload rose sale, including knockouts, drift, and hybrid tea roses, starting at just $19.99. Come celebrate this week at Bob Wines, and don't miss the Camellia Show Spectacular, daily till 4.30, in the same blooming place since 1952. And you're listening to AM Ocala Live, and we're back with In the Garden with Carol Ann. We were just talking off air a little bit about, yeah. like, what what rain actually fell with that last front. Yeah, it and wasn't. It wasn't at, much. At, my, at my place, and, and I'm just a little, I'm a little south of Ocala, um, and, and I really, I think it was straight line winds. Yeah. And that whatever rain was coming down was blown you know, it might have got on the top. <laughs> yeah. so it never touched the ground. I yeah. mean, I, when I got up the next morning, I'm I'm expecting to see, there you know, was, uh, you some, know some puddles and wet, and and my wasn't... and my my road or part of our my neighborhood has a tendency if it rains hard, the sides of the road wash out a bit. Yeah, and it's like no, nothing, not nothing, nothing worse than it was the day before. Um, I I don't have a rain gauge out. Oh, I have mm -hmm. too many trees. It really doesn't. It, they're not accurate there. Um, but it's like there, there wasn't. I think there was a, a plant saucer that blew off the deck, sitting there, and and it had it, it had a little water in the bottom, but nothing, nothing, crazy. nothing to write home about. That's and, and I'm wondering. We were just talking too about the percent 
chance of rain. Right, they're Thursday, saying like, yeah, 50%. 20% is actually a weather channel showing. The yeah. only thing I noticed was different is they're calling for more of a percent chance of rain for the day and into the next day. Like okay. They kind of just called it. They said, hey, Thursday right. night, 80% chance we're right. done. Yeah. And now it looks like maybe maybe there will be some some more rain but right. it'll be spread out spread through the out day longer, longer instead of just time. one giant frontal bound that right. came through that was blowing winds oh that was yeah that was, it was just, so uh, annoying it was so that annoying. was that was um i still haven't had a chance to go clean up all the little sticks right. in the yard and I, I need a day off that's not gonna rain yeah yeah <laughs> to go clean the yard every day up. you get yeah. off it gets colder it's, and it it's rains. Cold, cold and rain i mean being a little cold you don't mind burning some <laughs> of the stuff there in the corner of the yard and uh, <laughs> like, you know if it's raining it just doesn't work real well you know look like from from the proc chart looks like it was drawing a lot of moisture yeah uh, in from the gulf that's gonna like kind of just right. be there not like it was with the other front coming through where it was dragging and, and moisture it was just, it for was a longer an period extreme, of time yeah, extreme, and it was extreme wind. winds and that 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 was yeah and the whole thing that, was so. with uh what is with with jet stream because it took such a huge dip right and then it spiked mm-hmm. back up and that's what was causing all that wind which this should be more gradual and with right, that a little I think more it, little more normal that we're just yeah, yeah, yeah we may pick more, up a little more moisture moisture yeah. which like i said i hope because it seems like just west of the airport just west yeah. ocala with with how much is cleared out it just looks so dry and it right. feels like any moisture that comes over it kind of dissipates it's and goes around it gets us. to that area yeah and yeah, I, there if was it's always that, that right and there always was that area that it would like not hit yeah i-75 yeah you know west of, west of, it's like you know okay that Cause, section because either it rained anyway. already or it dissipated or it around didn't make it, it yeah. and then by the time it got to the Acala forest it got it more found, moisture right, because it, it got it off the atlantic it yeah. got a little different collision exactly. on there and and which, so yeah which is which is awesome now right. i gotta ask you as a, as a master gardener did yeah. that uh, did that bring about getting to know more meteorology in itself the um, study of I it did, more so uh, well maybe not the study of it so much but you paid attention a paid little attention more, more yeah. A little, yeah a little more attention because when you're doing or getting a little more into gardening of keeping a, a journal mm-hmm. of not just what you planted where you planted what you used fertilizer uh, soil amendments when did it rain when did it rain what, when did it what rain? was the temperatures what was, what like was the a little temperatures? bit so, yeah was it warm was it yeah I, I wasn't super detailed but it might have been that whole thing of you know okay we got half inch of rain or we got our first first good rain yeah. you know at this time and and yeah if, if you do and 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 i know i i'm old school i i'm gonna write it down in a notebook yeah um and only because i don't know it's to me it's a little easier to flip back and forth yeah. than on a page on a computer unless you could have four screens right you know, right. and one you're clicking you know having to flip back to you know february of you know 2017 as compared to february of 2020 you know and looking to see what you did you know what was that plan i planted there that you maybe you have your your notes of when you planted that bed yeah. what you put in it what was successful what wasn't mm-hmm. um if you planted winter annuals when did they die off on you yeah yeah what what kind of weather did we have that was that kind of thing moreover yeah just what's what's happening well, in my little my little part of the that's world that's pretty good that's something yeah. you can actually recommend for folks yeah. just like uh, write down more specifics that go along with what you planted when right right um yeah and you can think well i got it in my head i, I planted oh, yeah, this day I, I, but when you go I, back the next year that's different because you start to think about if i'm doing the same time what was the weather like right what was it yeah what was i doing because i i seem to feel like i was putting i was starting the seeds or i planted out my starts of of this plant and you look and you go oh no i waited another two weeks because yeah. it was only in the 40s yeah you know, so it was like I, th- I thought it was warmer than it was, and and that makes it. I mean, it does make a difference. It makes a little more successful garden. I mean, it's always gardening. Gardening and landscape is, is experimentation. It is a science. It is, you know, uh, one of those kind of things. So yeah. Um, and and why not just kind of keep down. along? Yeah, write, write it down. It down. Right. That makes sense. We're coming to the uh, to the bottom of the hour, and uh, we're still we're going to come back. We're going to do some more with uh, in the garden with Carol Ann. Any questions you have, give us a call six two two nine six two two. You're listening to W O C A, the source. We'll be back after this. Fox News. I'm Chris Foster. It's primary day in New Hampshire. The Democrats running for president, making their case there to the end. We're excited about the energy and momentum we're seeing here. I think I'm the best person to do this because I think I'm the one who will get out there and fight best. The purpose of the presidency is not the glorification of the president, 
It is the unification and the empowerment of the American people. We're going to win this nomination. That's Andrew Yang, Elizabeth Warren, Pete Buttigieg, and Joe Biden. Bernie Sanders has been ahead in most of the polls in New Hampshire leading up to today, and a lot of voters in that state historically make up their mind late. More than a 1,000 deaths are now reported in mainland China from the new coronavirus. Today is also the first date that China is reporting more than 100 fatalities in a single 24-hour period. In Hong Kong, an apartment building is evacuated over suspicions the virus may have spread through the plumbing. Fox's Simon Owen. America's listening to Fox News. Hi, Saver. Walgreens here. We like the way you save. Pick coffee. You know it doesn't have to cost $4 a cup, so you make your own. And co-pays on Medicare Part D. You save up to $5 and get 100 balance rewards points on each prescription when Walgreens is your preferred pharmacy. Save smartly on Med D. Walgreens, trusted since 1901. Copay savings on Tier 1 generic drugs available through select plans that include Walgreens as a preferred pharmacy. Points cannot be earned in Arkansas, New Jersey, or New York. Complete details at walgreens.com slash balance. There's an app to save on flights, an app to rent a bike, and an app to help you save for driving safely. The Allstate app gives you real-time driving feedback with DriveWise, giving you the power to lower your insurance cost. In fact, safe drivers can save 40% or more. Connect and save with DriveWise. You're in good hands. Download the Allstate app today. Savings may vary by state and driving behaviors. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Use of Allstate Mobile with activation of DriveWise required. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. This is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Veterans Helping Veterans USA, call 352-433-2320. We help veterans and their families with limited financial assistance, counseling, employment referrals, and a food and clothing bank. You can help in making a huge difference in the veterans' lives we serve by donating food, clothing, household items, or direct financial assistance. All donations are tax deductible. Veterans Helping Veterans USA, 352-433-2320. Thank you for your attention, and God bless America. Gene Powell, Pastor Moe. Gene and Debbie, thank you for another successful year and to wish you peace, love, and joy in 2020. Now is the perfect time to fence row spray for weed control, rototilling for your winter gardens, and stump grinding. We are family-owned and operated, licensed and insured, and farm ready. Powell Gene, G-E-N-E at yahoo.com, 352-629-2440. Gene Powell Pastimony, 352-629-2440. Gene is a proud United States veteran. Ocala, quick minute news. The second anniversary of the Parkland school shooting is coming up on Friday. And yesterday, President Trump met with parents of some of the victims. He announced a new effort to prevent such tragedies in the future with the launch of a new website, schoolsafety.gov. NASA funding would increase by 12% under the budget proposed and submitted by President Trump. This is a 21st century budget worthy of 21st century space exploration and one of our strongest budgets in NASA history. NASA Administrator Jim Berdestein says the $25 billion plan funds missions to the moon and onto Mars. The deadline for registration for Florida's primary is getting closer. Election day is March 17th, but the last day to register or change party affiliations is one week from today, February 18th. Your Ocala Quick Minute News, 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. Come to the 7th Annual Habitat Strawberry Festival on March 7th, 2020 at the McPherson Government Complex. The festival will have vendors, food, a car show, a kid's zone, live entertainment, pie eating contests, and all things strawberry. All to also raise funds to build a Habitat home for a family in our community. Check out the website, HabitatOcala.org, and follow the link. The Habitat for Humanity Strawberry Festival is Saturday, March 7th, with breakfast served at 7.30. Free admission, $5 parking. See you there. Casino Night Fundraiser aimed at reducing suicides among veterans is happening Saturday, February 22nd at Brick City Center for the Arts. Doors open at 6 p.m. and this event is to help Less Than 22, a nonprofit which provides one good day to a veteran at no charge. With inshore and offshore fishing, scalloping, manatee tours, horseback riding, mental health assistance, and more. Come out and join the evening and help a veteran stay alive. For information, email TITOVIV at BellSouth.net. That's TITOVIV at BellSouth.net. 
with new record-breaking high temperatures for today. After patchy morning fog, we'll have partial sunshine with a high today 84 to 87. Tonight, mild with increasing cloudiness, low 66 to 68. Wednesday, mostly cloudy and very warm. The temperature approaching the record of 88 set in 1982 with a high 85 to 87. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Kevin Snyder. I'm Scotty, owner of 12 Rounds Boxing, with the personal invite for you to come check out my gym in Ocala, Florida, open seven days a week from 10A to 10P. Come check us out. Yeah. And welcome back. You're listening to AM Ocala Live in the garden with Carol Ann. And uh, as we took a break there, what you what you what you bring in there? What what do we got? Joe jo, jo jo came in. Take, jo came in with a nice, with a nice cutting. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I can't see it. Okay. Yeah. Boy, it wilted quick. It, it it yeah, wilted. did. Yeah, just 20, at the top. Twenty minutes, minutes from the house. Twenty minutes from the house, and the tips have, have wilted. Came in with uh, looking to get um, an ID so that he can find out where it grows and how well it grows. His is growing well. Um, oh yeah. My my first guess is it's uh, as it is as a hedge is uh, red tip photinia, but we'll, we'll take a look and double check. Mm. You know, more, to, more to come next more to, week. More to come. I got the and, and fo- Yeah, the photinia, yeah, it is. Uh, and the photinia, I mean, it was one, um, it was a very, very popular shrub for a long time, but then it seemed to have come out of favor because it would get a blight and it would go through and in certain areas, it just, it just looked bad, but I mean, yours in the photo, Looks Look gorgeous, good. and Ten the years. one that yeah, and the one that I brought up here on a on just on a page to get um, it was one that showed enough of it to try to get an idea that that might be what it is. Um, those look gorgeous too. So maybe it's coming back into, uh, back into fo- vogue, and. Um, well, it's been there ten years. No vogue. Ten, yeah, ten years, right. yeah, but I mean, in, in some of these, that I mean, because they got quite a price on those suckers. Um, that it's one that maybe whatever that that fungal issue was that it's been you know uh, it's it's played itself out yeah you know which sometimes will happen is if you stop planting something for a, for an extended time that it will it'll play itself out it'll go away um, those kind of things and you like to hope so. that that that's how <clears throat> that's how sometimes sometimes nature in itself can it, take it is. care and, of, and, of, and of the pest right and in your in your gardens and things like that. Um, Actually, and I'm starting to think of another one too. No, the leaves are different. Um, um, in a, in a garden area, if you have a, and I think last week we talked about the crop rotation. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if right. you have something that suddenly rots out on you or turns bad or has a bug infestation, you need to move it to yeah. another spot or not plant that. Yeah. Pull that out of there, and you can't plant the same family either. Mm-hmm. And see, we have um, there's a couple of different things that go on. Um, the Gana, and this is always, it, it's one of those fun words to say, <laughs> Ganoderma butt rot. <laughs> it's a disease of palms. And it's in the soil. So if your tree succumbs to say, say Ganoderma butt rot. That sounds like one it, hell of it, a punk rock it, band. It does. You know, the Ganoderma <laughs> butt rots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> live this live week this weekend. Live this weekend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get you dig it. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't put another palm in its location because it'll the same. It thing will with... just suck it right up into it. So you have to starve it out. Remove the palm. You can plant a hardwood or any other ornamental plant, just not a palm. Um, or you would wait about five years for it to oh, not wow. to not to dissipate itself for it to yeah. you know because there could be root material even if you've dug it out and ground out a stump that it's still holding that can on still to hold, hosting sure. onto um uh, several years ago the the and i call it the old-fashioned the old green impatience plant mm. that were planted all in your shade gardens that was what gave your shade gardens color Oh, yeah. Um, they're sold as an annual, though here in Central Florida, they will actually either reseed themselves or sort of be perennialized at the, the, the little stems. So long as you keep them for freezing, they'll be fine. Yeah. And I guess we got a caller, so yeah, we'll come back morning. to this Yeah, good morning. You're thought. on the air. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Like, I didn't think I was going to be on the air, but I have a question for you. Sure. All right. Uh, last week... I was uh, listening to your radio station religiously, of course, okay. 
And you had a gentleman on there from Scotty's Gym. Uh, and I jotted down the number because he threw the number out there. And I called the number and maybe I heard it wrong or wrote it down wrong. And I can't get through. Is there any way that I, you know, I talked to my phone? Couldn't get my phone doesn't give me any information. <laughs> you can talk to, me, to real you know, people. So. Phones just don't make good relationships. That's you know, right. That's right. But maybe you come no, back on the no, business no, line and tissue. Again. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say uh, for those questions, partner. We're actually doing a segment right now with uh, in the garden with Carol Ann for any uh, questions that you have on uh, gardening, gardening, or anything <laughs> like that. So if there's anything that, like that you want to throw out there, oh. but uh, but for those for those questions, give us a call seven three two eight thousand, and they'll point in the direction of uh, Scotty. Mm-hmm. Three, two, eight thousand. I'm so sorry I messed up the segment. No, here. you're fine. I, I'm, I'm good, work- <laughs> well, do you have any gardening I'm questions? And, uh, <laughs> any gardening I'm, questions? I'm, I'm working. No matter what it is, uh, legally. Uh, well, uh, well, you know what I did. What I am. I'm a landscaper, actually. So oh, I there we go. tune in and, uh, and get some valuable information here. There you go. Yeah. There you go. See, that's, that's meant to be. Well, yeah. Thank you for your understanding. And everything. No. Uh, you have a great day. And, you uh, too. Bless you. Yeah, you too. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yep. Oh, you mean listen? Oh, he's a yeah, landscaper. He was listening. Yeah, landscaping. Just so he's like, I, I know this. I don't have any questions. Right, I, no. I do he this for a living, too. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> oh, where was I on the... Um, Oh, the plants, you know, the disease issues kind of things, and and the little impatience. Well, a few years back, actually, it's probably been close to 10 years ago, I want to say, because they're, they're, the plants are coming back on the market. They starved them out for about five years, but those little impatience, were, they were planted in some high dollar landscapes down in south florida and succumbed to and i have forgotten which disease yeah but and just just wiped them out and they're replacing those had to replace and it happened you know a couple of times so it wasn't like a batch of plants went bad this and that Mm -hmm. and so this sort you're talking you know probably up in the tens of thousands of dollars if not say, more because what you're talking uh, about on a scale and we know that like yeah you some get those, 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 those big hotels areas down and, in, down yeah. in south florida the condominium communities down there Man, and uh, I golf you, communities I and things you they like went that probably right to the nursery where they got and those, it's you know, not you just, and, and plans. the thing is is that it wasn't just here no it was worldwide oh wow so worldwide you could not buy plants of and they they just stopped growing them is that all right? the nurseries stopped growing them stopped sending them out um for at least i think about the first three years they sent none and after that they would wow. send like hanging baskets yeah and minimum quantities of you know like landscape wow. size to the to the retail nurseries so in a hanging basket it's not in the ground yeah so it's hanging up you can still enjoy it it's hanging out of your tree instead of down in the ground um they're back in now mm-hmm. but that's when the new guinea impatient and the sun patients became in favor because they're immune yeah they're a different plant yeah the flowers that say yeah. looks very much the same but they're actually more vibrant color um just a larger larger Man, type plant a little bit a, different plant yeah. but yeah so it was one that they had to starve that disease out of the ground wow and that was the only way to get i mean you could still find seed but then that was up to you and you were only spending you know a buck 98 yes yeah, you know for for that and and maybe you didn't have that problem in your landscape mm-hmm. but they couldn't take any chances of it continuing because that just it's an industry uh, yeah. kind of thing that's the same thing that's why when there's uh just to relate it to something else when there's a meat recall out of a plant they recall it from all of the retail markets yep. in which they get yep. it from um or which retail markets they send it to um lettuce and things like that that goes through some of these e coli outbreaks and things like that um the last one the e coli wasn't in florida romaine lettuce no that was the romaine that was lettuce coming in... out of california right but <clears throat> Nobody was going to buy romaine lettuce at all for those few weeks while right. that was done. So they just and basically that was the pulled same it idea. all and, and harvest and, then, and just destroyed. <clears throat> well, but no, with that, it's just, hey, what are you watering with? Yeah. 
you know, clean up your water supply yeah. and, and that. I mean, and I, I believe some places not necessarily reclaimed water as what we think of it, the purple tubes down, you know, uh, you, you see on the side of the road that the golf courses use non-potable water. Um, no, they reclaimed might be coming off of the nursery. Yeah. You know, just, but even that can end up contaminated. Can, can contaminated, yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> uh, we're going to we're going to take a little break and we come back. There's something I want to throw at you. OK. That I read in news bits here about uh, certain things with some of the this algae. It's interesting. Oh, okay. I want to I want to see how you might think it might yeah. play into some of the, the local existing uh, sure. plants and stuff sure, around sure. it. But you're listening to In the Garden with Carol Ann. And we're going to take a short little break and we're going to be back. But if you got any questions, give us a call. 622-9622. Matt Wilkerson here, your Verizon representative with news that will hum your car, make it smart and safe. How? With a new hum device by Verizon. You can rest assured you're never alone. Flat tire? Lost? Accident? For $10 a month, hum by Verizon has you covered. And I will come to you in Marion County to install the hum for free. Time to call me at 352-528-0020. Are you ready to hum along? Call 352-528-0020. Are you a medical provider that doesn't like to settle for the same boring scrubs? Scrub Paradise in Ocala has a wide selection of top brand scrubs with embroidery available and the newest medical shoes and accessories. Every medical provider should look as great as the care they provide. Scrub Paradise is just off Easy Street next to Shoe Carnival in Ocala. Stop by today or give them a call at 352-873-4368. That's 352-873-4368. New record-breaking high temperatures for today after patchy morning fog. We'll have partial sunshine with a high today 84 to 87. Tonight, mild with increasing cloudiness, low 66 to 68. Wednesday, mostly cloudy and very warm. The temperature approaching the record of 88 set in 1982 with a high 85 to 87. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Kevin Snyder. I'm Scotty, owner of 12 Rounds Boxing, with the personal invite for you to come check out my gym in Ocala, Florida, open seven days a week from 10A to 10P. Come check us out. Time to get an update on higher education in our area. Join me Monday, February 17th at 10.30 a.m. when representatives from the College of Central Florida and Webster University will be in the studio again to tell us the latest information of various subjects related to what else? Higher education. Again, that's Monday the 17th at 10.30 a.m. on WOCA 96.3 FM 1370 a.m. The Source. And we're back. You're listening to AM Ocala Live on WOCA, The Source, 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. And right now we're doing In the Garden with Carol Ann, That's Carol Ann Baldwin, Master Gardener. And uh, we've been talking quite a bit about different things today. Yeah. We mentioned the weather, of course. Right. We always got to talk about the weather. Oh, the weather's the most important thing. That's it. Um, <clears throat> speaking of this, I wanted to throw this at you. So this is an interesting little article. I had this for uh, for news bits here. Okay. Florida City gets new algae sniffers to I research did. the toxic algae dust. So uh, in Cape Coral, it was saying here that uh, behind the Cape Coral Public Works building, scientists have fastened a milk jug-sized metal cylinder to the exterior wall for first of four of the air sampling devices. And then they will spend two weeks sniffing the air to determine how much algae toxin it contains. So what this had brought up was during the 2018's algae emergency, mm -hmm. um, it had worried members and basically there was expectations here of figuring out what was going on. They had gotten a $5,000 rapid response grant from the Centers of Coastal Ocean Science. And the idea was here was to figure out what's going on. Now what they've narrowed it down to right is how this uh, cyanobacteria particles, or this algae Cy dust, yeah, cyanobacteria, yeah. um, they produce the 
cyanotoxins, potential poisons that sicken wildlife and humans. Mm -hmm. Does that do anything to your plants? Does that do anything to what you're trying to, to grow? To and does that do the soil? To your landscape on the... Yeah, um, Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. No. Um, I mean, because we have respiratory mucous membranes, yeah, things like true. that, that are irritated by and that. And then it clings to it, and then that to moisture in itself. Moisture, moisture in those, yeah. But the, those with the plant cell walls and the way the roots are, it and, probably is not susceptible. Right, right. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, that, that, I mean, I wouldn't be going and, and, cleaning up the dead fish off the off the bank and and burying them in my garden okay yeah that, that was just that, the other thing as far as any water fertilization might, from that. you know but you know usually you know any if you're you know you're irrigating your garden it's not coming out of the lake yeah ne you know necessarily yeah. and and you know landscape plants are not going to be your your biggest issue it would be more over if if your water did come from the lake that you're irrigating i'm yeah, I might steer away from irrigating edibles. Yeah. With it only because yeah. that's you know that's that's just why why take a risk even sure. you know even if they're saying you know even if they're saying well we're not sure or you know plants don't work the same way people do which is true I mean they don't they you know right. the vascular system is is totally different and I think the reason uh, people and uh, our pets are susceptible again like I said that the mucous membranes you know that we 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 breathe it in right and get the irritation and the, the irritation the asthma, sticks, the, the, sticks yeah, to us sticks a little to, bit yep. gets within the moisture mm -hmm. of our tissue you and right. all that um it's it's fascinating because with this algae stuff too i had just uh i had looked at uh there's a video yesterday and i guess this was also really bad in the great lakes area oh okay in the area of lake erie so yeah. you mentioned that you had right. some folks that live in yep. erie yep. pa right this was more on the uh on the west banks of sure. the uh of, of the, the uh, lake erie right and what it was is they narrowed it down to um basically the whole area of pretty much what you would think of between Toledo and Chicago okay. is more of like a basin that is more of like a swampland. Okay. Uh, thousands and thousands and okay. thousands of acres right. of swampland. Well, <clears throat> we tried to develop that area for, uh, for agriculture and for uh, cattle raising. Right. So what they had done was they tried to do their best to drain whatever moisture they could out of the soil. So they, they, basically deforested it, did what they need to do, but they noticed that the soil was still pretty too murky, pretty wet. No, yeah. pretty wet. So they installed all of these uh, rows of these metal pipes to let the water siphon itself and then flow oh, wow. out so it could dry up the land. So it did. So they used it. Right. Uh, and it was able to grow crops and everything. Well, then they start doing cattle on it. As they were doing cattle on it, it wasn't a big big deal because you had uh, four or five cattles for a hundred yards of, right, right, of land right well then as things changed here within the last uh, two decades now you've got 200 cattle on one 100 yard football field basically and what was happening was was the feces the so, nitrogen source yeah. so what had happened was is originally when you had less cattle with bigger room it was it feeding was right a, back a into filter, it as a fertilizer right, right. now it had actually really affected everything that was being grown in that area and then what had happened was mind you when i told you they were trying to get rid of the water right, that was within right, the swamp sure. they had all those pipes right, and that drained, drained the yeah, to drained. lake erie right. well now <clears throat> what they've done is they collect all the feces and they they do their best to to make it more of like a liquid and then try right. to re reestablish right. that back as fertilizer right but it's so liquid content that it seeps in so quick and it gets carried through them pipes to Lake Erie that it was growing all this blue-green heavy toxic algae right, that right. was the same thing that was happening as far as the algae not saying right, the same, right, the same exact thing. reasoning right, right but yeah it was just fascinating and, and it was and and see now that's a direct point source pollution exactly and yeah. with that it was affecting the crops that were grown there right, too right. and and when you talk about something like as simple as romaine lettuce with E. coli mm -hmm. that's why yeah, it's yeah, it's it's, uh, it's amazing the technology and our thought process of what goes into trying to utilize such a small area and and make the most and, of it. Right, but it's also right. on the back end the of the effects what's, that right, it has. The over been. yeah over uh, over grazing of a land that yeah yeah you kind of wonder how they even could keep 
that many cattle well mm-hmm. fed mm-hmm. in an area like that. But, well, um, and then that's the difference. That's yeah. where that's where it turns from no longer being grass fed, farm fresh to, right, to corn fed, fed and bread, right. basically. That's it. And uh, it was just fascinating because when I saw this article here, it uh, on, on the broke sniff, out yeah, on the, the idea of the right. same thing. And that and that's why and that's I mean and for us this is why it comes back to um, we removed the. Not, bag of fertilizer has three numbers on it okay yeah, yeah and they're yeah. all in the same order they're always in the same order npk nitrogen phosphorus potassium Th- there you go yep and your phosphate they took that out of the fertilizer some years back why we mine it in florida we don't need to dump it on the ground okay so why put something that's, that's that, that we're not deplete of yeah. on the ground so it, it would have been a, a pollutant and phosphates i mean you read your laundry detergent bottles mm-hmm. or years back it's going you know it's phosphate free well, because we don't really need to use the phosphates um nitrogen it's in the state of florida i don't think it's it's not it can't be law all through the state but better management practices um say that your lawn fertilizers and this is strictly for lawn need to be 50 percent slow release okay um some of the big companies have been very slow to come around on that though we have some local companies or florida-based companies or i'm not sure where the one company is based out of i should look that up um that have been compliant for years Mm -hmm. on that but we also have certain areas that have fertilizer application bans okay not just restrictions but But bans um i I believe it's like Pinellas and Hillsborough counties. Yeah. Uh, June the first, all the lawn fertilizer in any store is wrapped and sent skyward. It is not on the floor. You cannot buy it. It is illegal for you to put it down. Really. Between June the first and September. October 1st now is I that because is. of the increase the in the rain runoff, water and the, runoff? Run, the runoff and and because it's raining so hard mm-hmm. um, or so much our sa- soil is so sandy yeah you put the fertilizer down Monday and it rains like hell it on perm- Tuesday right and, your, and your lawn took up how much? Yeah. Very little of it. Yeah. And Alachua County, I'm not sure if theirs is a full ban or if it's just um, on the consumer end that it is suggested not to fertilize. And theirs is in the winter months when the grass is not growing. Hmm. You know, because we tell people, I, I tell people don't fertilize. I mean, for, to me, fertilization should occur three times a year okay. march june and september okay all right you're not going into the summer months you're not going into the winter months mm-hmm. um there are other products you could get away with using in the summer months and the same kind of product you could use in the winter if you really felt like you needed to nourish the lawn or have a higher maintenance uh landscape schedule um and so you're staying away from those those key areas one when the grass isn't growing and two when the grass is already growing on its own every right. time you mow you're putting nitrogen on the ground right uh the rain when it's accompanied by lightning oh, yeah. has nitrogen in oh, it yeah. and multiply during Everything, the summer it's it's so you know it's that kind of thing that that they've had to come to um restrictions and or outright bans on its use lake Ca- lake county has wow. a uh, consumer restricted that it's up to the consumer to not use it during these months but it's not an outright retail ban, ban. um so that that kind of stuff Man. it's it's Man. it's a whole lot of whole lot of stuff and and i'm thinking that in well i was saying it last year so i'm thinking maybe by 2030 if if not maybe before there might just be outright fertilization throughout the state of florida time periods that this is the only time you're allowed to fertilize the lawn if it is a truly nitrogen based Based fertilizer fertilizer, that that there's other products out there that you can use that are a little more on the natural side um, that will green a lawn without 
adding nitrogen or phosphates to it, uh, giving that, but not encouraging all that growth that right. you just have to mow off anyway. Right. <laughs> so, right. You know, less maintenance actually makes a better makes a better lawn. Yeah. Well, excellent. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. We're yeah. coming up to the top of the <clears throat> hour. We, we ripped man. that hour apart. That's what I love about Tuesdays, girl. Yeah. Uh, you were listening to AMO Cal Alive with our segment in the garden with Carol Ann. Excellent stuff, Carolyn. Oh, Looking always forward a good to next show. week. Yeah. And remember, we have the In the Garden Facebook page. That's right. All you got to do is it's a group page. So come on, look for In the Garden, um, it's out of Ocala, and ask to be a member. Yep, yep. We'll be back after the Fox News. I'm Chris Foster. It's the first primary of the 2020 presidential campaign in New Hampshire. Michael Bloomberg's not on the ballot there, but Les Otten gave him a write-in vote as a Democrat. Essentially, we're saying that climate change and the budget deficit are two of the most important things that we can take care of for future generations. Amy Klobuchar is still trying to whip up votes. Something's happening here, and uh, we just want to seize the moment, so I'm going to work my heart out all day. President Trump held a rally in Manchester, New Hampshire last night, tweeting at 1 a.m., about the sentencing recommendation for a former associate of his, calling it horrible and very unfair. Roger Stone, who was convicted of lying to Congress in the Russia probe, could go to prison for up to nine years when he's sentenced on February 20th. His defense had argued for probation, citing his lack of criminal history and his age of 67. Fox's Rachel Sutherland in Washington. America's listening to Fox News. When you're diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, a million questions flood your mind. How can this be happening? Am I going to be able to work? What's a subtype? What do I do now? We know. We went through it, too. But once you start to understand your options, you can partner with your doctor and find ways to face MBC on your own terms. Visit findyourmbcvoice.com and learn how to speak up and have a more informed conversation with your doctor. Some questions have answers. Visit findyourmbcvoice.com to find some of yours. My portfolio's diversified, my 401k's maxed, but my savings account just sat there till I switched it to Marcus by Goldman Sachs. I'm earning way more now, just between you and me. My savings are right on track, feels like I got upgraded for free. You can, money. With an online savings account from Marcus by Goldman Sachs, you could earn much more interest than with the largest banks. Sign up at Marcus.com. Comparison made to the three largest U.S. banks measured by total deposits. Rates as of January 21st, 2020 may vary by state. Goldman Sachs Bank USA, member FDIC. I see. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Veterans Helping Veterans USA, call 352-433-2320. We help veterans and their families with limited financial assistance, counseling, employment referrals, and a food and clothing bank. You can help in making a huge difference in the veterans' lives we serve by donating food, clothing, household items, or direct financial assistance. All donations are tax deductible. Veterans Helping Veterans USA, 352-433-2320. Thank you for your attention and God bless America. 